Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a few things that have arrived in my mailbox and that I've bought in store that I wanted to share with you. I feel like you can probably hear the rain outside. It's such a gloomy day, but I'm gonna um, show you what I picked up. I can't show you everything in this one just because there's a thing, a few things from Jessica Kate Planning that aren't released yet, but I'll show you a few of the things that I picked up. I've also got the Pommy Mystery Post from Pomegranate Pins and Prints and some new character icon stickers from Blush Budgie. And this is my new B6 planner from Kiki K. So I think we're gonna start with the stickers. I'll just take them all out of their packaging so you don't have to hear that noise and sift through what I can show you and what I can't of this one. And then I will be right back. Alrighty, so turns out there's not much in that little package from Jessica Kate Planning that I can show you. And the reason for that is I ordered two kits that are yet to be released yet. So I think, I don't, I'm not sure if they're both Halloween kits. One definitely is, the other one like definitely could be. Um, so you'll have to wait and see for those ones. In the meantime though, this, these are a few other things that I've picked up. You can use my code Jess10 and you get 10% off your whole order at Jessica Kate Planning. So make sure to use that to save some money. I've got some freebies here. So this is the July freebie and she's also thrown in the August freebie as well. So there's these huge trackers, which I don't know, I feel like they could be really good for your monthly spread. I'm not quite sure how I would use them, but I really like the artwork on this one. Then these are some new icons that I think are coming out pretty soon. She's been showing some sneak peeks in the Facebook group and I think on Instagram as well. Um, and then these, I really love these. They're little, um, like you can see they're like script chore stickers, but I feel like they'd be the same width as a EC box, let me. Yeah, they're like the same width. So they would look super cute layered over washi or other stickers as well. I really like these. I haven't seen anything like that before. Then she was kind enough to give me one of the freebies from the Geelong, I think it was their picture to page event. So these are a ton of travel theme stickers, which I love travel, um, or well, I love travel. I'm going on a holiday soon, that's what I meant to say. So I'm going on a holiday in a few months and I've been kind of like stocking up on little travel stickers as well. So that was all the freebies. I feel like that's like an order within itself. Then I picked up some more ha little Happy Mail icons. I also got the Instagram icons and then these are a new functional item. So they're like a Hobonichi sized box, but I really like using their like sticky note size stickers in my B6, which is like the Erin Erin Condren columns that is so hard to say and they look really cute with washi tape underneath So I got some of these to try out and see if I will use them But then this one here is one sheet of a monthly kit. So there was so much I had left over from last month I still have the whole sheet that has all the months like the script months and things like that that I can use on this So I just got the one sheet just to bring in these colors and everything like that. So I will see how I go using this in my little Fobonichi planner. Um, I just really loved this strip to be honest, that kind of sold me on the whole thing. So that is all for now from Jessica Kate Planning. Next up, I have some stickers from Blush Budgie, which I haven't purchased from her before. I think it's B, yeah, B from Blush, Bud Blush Budgie. I want a giveaway on her channel though, so on her like Instagram page. So I've had a few sheets from there before and the paper is a really nice premium matte. There are two samplers here as well. So this one, I feel like this might've been last month's. And this has some of the new little icons, which is what I ordered. So I ordered her new character blush um, in a few different sheets. And I'm pretty sure she's got a few more coming. I really like this scalloped corner as well. Super cute. So the sheets, I got the work laptop study, which this sticker I could use like a gazillion times. I think that's probably the most like stickers of one theme I have is like at a desk or at a computer or a laptop because I just feel like I can use it for so many different things. Then I have this one, which is like a spending money. I really like that she's included both the full size, like the full body and then like the bust um, because you get a bit more detail in these ones, but these are super cute as well with the whole, the full body. Then I also picked up the birthday ones. You can see I used one already there, but I actually realized I had no birthday stickers. Like I had these really old ones that are just like a black, not even foil on a clear of a birthday cake and that was it. So I wanted to get some more of these. I really love the colors, um, the colors of these stickers. I think they really lend themselves nicely to other colors that I use really often in my spreads. So yeah, really happy with that. Definitely check out Blush Budgie on Instagram and Etsy. I'm not sure if she has a Facebook group or anything, um, but B posts quite a bit on the Planet Addicts Facebook group too.
Next up is the Pomegranate Pins and Prints Pommy Mystery Post for August. So this is their first ever like mystery subscription um, kit that they've ever done. They also, I'm not 100%, I think they only have like one or two other Erin Condren kits on their site to begin with. So this is really exciting to get some of those. Now I purchased the Erin Condren kit um, and then Sammy contacted me from Pomegranate Pins and Prints and said um, that she would throw in a Hobonichi one for me um, and then I could share it with all of you guys and you can see how it looks. Now I know Liz from Planet Bliss with Liz, she uploaded a video really recently showing you all of this as well. So I don't know, I'm not going to spend too much time. I guess we have pretty different colours that we prefer. I know she's very much like a purple gal and I really like floral where I feel like, I don't know, I don't think she's like massively floral. Anyway, so this here is just a little bit about the mystery post, like a little thank you. This is like a sneak peek for next month. And there's some little quarter box stickers to remind you to order and to celebrate that it has arrived. So I think that's a really nice touch to add in with the kit. This is just a regular sampler, sampler if I'm not mistaken. There's something on the back. Ah, here we go. This is a, I believe this is a vinyl. Let me, yeah, this is a vinyl of a little bee. This is so cute. I really like this with a little crown, a queen bee. Anyway, this is the regular sampler. So there's a full box Sephi and a few other icons. I think, I think it's Dungeons and Dragons. I don't really know, but I like the little icon here. You can actually peel it off. So that's really exciting to be able to put it in your planner. I know a lot of people have those sheets in the back pages that are like a list of their favorite sellers. So you can definitely add that to all the other shops that you love as well. Then there is this really nice bookmark. This is just on like a really thick and shiny cardstock. Um, so to be or not to be, Shakespeare. So that's hilarious. I really like the designs and the clip art. Everything um, is hand drawn by Annie. I'm not quite sure if it's Annie or Sammy that put it together and like compose the kits, um, but it's definitely a joint effort and Annie is really amazing. I don't know what program she uses, but she's just a really amazing artist as well. Then there are two deco sheets. So I think going forward, there will just be one if I'm not mistaken. Um, but these were both just too cute. I really love this one. It's probably my favorite with the sunflower. I really like that. But there's some cute quotes on there as well. I like that buzz off. Um, and then the cute bee with the crown, like the um, little vinyl that we've got too. Now, getting into the kit, I have used a kit from Pomegranate Pins and Prints before. It was a little while ago, um, and I think it was it was definitely a different format to this one. So here you've got all your full boxes, including a double box that's not separated down the middle. Um, these are really cute. I really like the bold colors. And that bee is really cute. And some dots down here. You know I love my dots. Then you've got your little like washi strips or headers, your little things. And then some quarter and half boxes, some with deco, some without. I really like the option because I feel like sometimes it can look too busy if they all have like a decorative element to them. Then here is your washi. So it is separated down here. Um, so you can either add in your own washi or use both strips of this if you want. Like you could probably even just use that if you wanted a bit more white space. Then you've got your date covers and a weekly checklist as well. And then here are some icons, which are super cute in colors to match the kit. Oh my God, look at that planner. I love that. Some script, your weekend banner, some habit trackers, this one here. Is that separated? Whoops, I accidentally pulled it off. Yes, it is separated. So these are two, almost like a quarter box. Um, and then these, full boxes that are like empty. So you can either layer the checklist over the top or you could add, you could definitely add some of the decorative stickers to like make a full box um, or just use these to mark a really big event as well. So that is super cute. I really love that. The next theme I know, I think it's like a fruity theme. I definitely recommend joining their um, VIP group on Facebook because there's been lots of sneak peeks of this one on there. So no doubt there'll be lots of sneaks of the September Tommy mystery post as well. Then I'll just quickly go through the Hobonichi kit as well. So you get the same little um, like reminder stickers here, the same sampler, 
your little bee vinyl. I'm excited to have two of these. Another bookmark, I'll probably have to give this to someone because I don't know, I feel like it might be a bit greedy to keep two. Then again, two deco sheets as well. So just because it's not the EC, like the large kit, you still get the two decorative sheets. And then they're sheets of the actual kit, which are adorable. So you've got all your regular like basic stuff here. And then this one, you've got some extra boxes and checklists. I really like their habit trackers that they add in these kits. I don't know. They're just really nice and simple. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. I really love it. That one's so cute with the bees in the circle. And this washi is so cool as well. I really like that. I can't wait to use both of these. I'll probably wait until spring. Um, I feel like it's a very spring kit. I will as well. I can't remember their prices off the top of my head, so I'll leave those in um, in the comments, like in the description box below the prices of the True Mystery kits as well. I think there's a few different options. But now, moving on to my new planner. So this is the Kiki K Basics Rings in Croc, and the color is Almond. I feel like that is a mouthful. So it has this really nice vegan croc. Um, I don't know if it's like a PVC or a plastic, but it just, it feels really nice. feels really great quality. And then there's also gold hardware. So this zip is really nice. I feel like a few of their planners with the zips have had like a circle zip, but I really like this long one. And then the croc pattern continues over the back. You've got some more gold hardware there. I just really like this color. I did see them online and I was going to order the black one but the it had rose gold hardware and it was like a lot so i don't know i think it was just a bit much to have rose gold just because the rings are also gold and in the black one the rings were rose gold and like really pink anyway so once you open this you've got all of your little pockets here so this is very similar to i'll grab my other one yeah, this is like identical. There's just no extra, no extra pen loop, but I, I never use that. Um, but it's really nice. This is the croc material as well. You've got your lining in there. Um, and then this gray, this is like a, I don't know, material cotton. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, just like a gray branded um, lining. I'll take these off here. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to like open it properly until I film this video. You can see you've got your notepad at the back. This is different to the one that I received with my other planner that had like little stationery, um, like a border around it. So this one's just a bit more plain. And then you've got these foiled tabs as well. So I'll slide this off and I'll see if what comes inside is any different to what came with my other one. Oops. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs in here. I will probably swap these out for my, no, probably. I will definitely be swapping these out for my May paper coat. I think it's like a lot going on. Like you've got the croc, the gray, and then the lines as well. I don't know. Maybe if you decorated it, but I don't know. I like to keep it pretty minimal. So I would put my other insert inside. Let me get it out so you can see what it looks like. Now the inserts I have are a little bigger because I use the basics wide print. Ooh, I didn't even look at these. These are so nice. <gasps> and a dashboard as well. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So these stickers are just like little script ones. Some of these did come with my um, other basics and then some icons as well. I like that they're a bit more minimal. I really like these. And then this dashboard is really nice. I usually end up putting this at the back to stop the pages from like curving too much. And I think I'm going to have to somehow train it to lay flat. <laughs> anyway, what were we doing? This gray. So these are like a, um, like a see-through. So I usually put some pattern paper behind or something like that. And they are a bit wider, but you can see, I can still zip it up if it looks fine. So they, yeah, they fit really well. So you'd still be able to use basics wide even though it's got a zip, which is very exciting for me. 
So then you have your monthly calendar, which I do use. I do use these inserts for my monthly. And then the next tab, I think that's exactly the same. Yeah, the same design. And you've got your weekly inserts. I used to plan in these. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I found... I don't know, I feel like the ones I use now, they have a lot more space and these ones were a bit trickier to work with because the only store that really offered kits for them was Planner Girl Problems. And I loved, loved, loved using those kits, but there's only like four kits. Like I can't just keep using the same ones and I don't know. Got a bit time consuming using like sticker books and things like that. And I just really love the inserts that I use now. So you get a huge stack of those, probably I would say like one year's worth of those. Then you have plain, plain lined paper. Just a small amount, to be honest. It's not very thick at all. Then more lines, more lines, and grid. And if I'm not mistaken, this will be blank. Yes. So that is that. I will move everything in, um, and then I'll get back to you and I'll show you what it looks like with everything that I had in the old planner in here. So that all came across really well. I think I'll have to change this for a gold bulldog clip. So usually I get some stickers in this little pocket here. My planner is by no means like set up. Um, I just have my monthly view and then my weekly. Where are we up to this week? Yeah. So that fits really well. I really love this planner. It's very nice. I'm intrigued. I didn't even see, I didn't see the black one in person because they didn't have the basics. I don't know if that would have contributed to my decision at all. Um, if they had the black one, but you can see there's still plenty of room for the tabs and the zip. Like they're not going to, I don't think that's going to get caught. There's still plenty of room there. And even like the pages going to the end, that is totally fine. You can probably fit a pen in here. Um, this one does not match, but yeah, beautiful. So that is my haul, quite a few things. I really love the stickers that this came with. Um, but I have my planner, my mystery post, my desk okay, planning order, including the things I can't show you yet. Um, and then these gorgeous icons from Blush Budgie. So that's what's come. I'm now, can you believe it? Not waiting for anything to arrive in the letterbox. I'm feeling a bit at a loss. So I think I'm going to be waiting until the Melbourne planner market uh, to buy some more things and then see how I go after that. But I just really love this new planner um, and I think it is nice and neutral without being, I guess, too similar, too similar to this one. Like they're a similar color. I feel like they look a lot closer in color on camera, but I just, I really, I do really like the zip and I think I prefer this maybe just cause it's new but I was getting a bit, not over this color, but it just got so dirty, like it's a little scuffed in all the corners and I didn't even really take it anywhere, whereas I feel like this one feels like you could really easily wipe it down. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my planner. I know croc isn't for everyone. Um, and let me know what you think of the other items as well. I'm super excited to use my Pommy Mystery Post and it's really great to be able to use these icons because I feel like all my like person icons at the moment are probably from Happy Dyer, so it's nice to be able to support an Australian store um, by getting them through Blush Budgie as well. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye.